But let's let's start here. You know, we saw him face the Knicks last night. In a hypothetical world, Brendan Brown, how would Carl Anthony Towns fit on this Knicks team? I think it's interesting. And while we talked about it last night, like from year one, year two, go bear in towns. How is it working? How is it now working better? And so he's playing as a true four. And if you go back in the annals of time with the Knicks, Patrick Ewing was tried at the four and that did not work out because he didn't want to do it. And then he became a great jump shooting five. So what is Carl Anthony Towns? Well, you saw in the game last night, his jump shot is pure from the mid range, from three point. He feels very comfortable in a face up situation. He can still post. So if he were coming to the Knicks, who would be going there uh, in a trade scenario? And then where would you play him? And I think he could play at the four. I think he could play at the five. But like the way they're using him now, Gobert is more of a cutter as a five man away from the ball. I think he has enough space. He has a great game with the handle. And you're looking at him being more of a power forward who can also play five. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Obviously, you you hypothetically fit players into the current roster. Obviously, the roster would change if they acquired a player like Carl Anthony Towns. And CP, where are you on that? His potential fit. Yeah, there's no question Carl Anthony Towns is, is an elite offensive weapon at, at the four spot. I think he and Jalen Brunson would play very well together. Uh, an excellent shooter at all three levels. It'll give you some some floor spacing. And this year for the Timberwolves, he's, he's, he's playing defense very well for them as well. I mean, the number one ranked defense in the NBA, you've got to give Carl Anthony Towns some credit there. Uh, but the question becomes... Who are the Knicks trading trading for Carl Anthony Towns? I, I don't think a Towns and Julius Randle front court is going to work for the Knicks defensively. So you're talking about maybe trading uh, Mitchell Robinson, among others, because Carl Anthony Towns' contract is, is enormous. So I, I just don't see it making sense for the Knicks in terms of who they potentially have to give up. I don't necessarily see the Knicks pivoting and trading Julius Randle in a package for for Carl Anthony Towns. And then the question also becomes, is is Carl Anthony Towns a guy that's going to help move the needle for the Knicks? He can certainly help. And I think the the, uh, starting five with Brunson and depending on who else you have there could work. But I just don't see that pushing the needle forward for the Knicks. He's got a good chance this year with the way this Minnesota Timberwolves team is playing to quiet the naysayers and show that, hey, he, he can be a, a guy that can move things forward for a team. But uh, I just don't see it here with the Knicks. Yeah, a couple of notes here. I mean, we talked about it in the offseason. I, I think that if the Knicks strongly wanted Carl Anthony Towns in the offseason, they could have traded for him. They could have made a deal happen. Um, has their thinking changed on him to this point? I don't know that. But I do know that, you know, somebody in touch with members of the organization, they felt earlier this year that the Knicks had a Embiid first, Towns second hierarchy when you're talking about potential trades. Um, So that's just something to keep an eye on. And the other piece of this is who would go. Well, I do know that, you know, as recently as before the start of the regular season, uh, some people with the Knicks in their discussions with other teams were bringing up players like, R.J. Barrett or a Mitchell Robinson, as we had reported on the holiday talks with Portland. So I don't think that anybody is off limits when it comes to a trade of this magnitude.